Hi friends, welcome back to Teaching in Room 9, our region's largest classroom. My name is Julia, I'm one of the second grade teachers at the Soulard School, and here for Teaching in Room 9, my lessons focus on phonemic awareness, being aware of and doing different exercise that work with the smallest units of sounds that letters make. Welcome back friends, thank you so much for taking time to be here together with me. We hope that you're having a really great day and a really great start to your week. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. And we're going to tickle your brains and warm up by reviewing everything that we've learned together here so far. I say, you say, print awareness. I say, you say, parts of a book. Very good. Now we're going to review what we've been learning by doing one of my very favorite things, and it's called mirrors on. So when I say mirrors on, you're going to repeat everything I say and do until I say mirrors off. I would really love to be able to see some of your mirrors on either videos or pictures of you following along at home. So feel free to post them online and hashtag 9PBS. Always feel free to, to send in pictures or videos of you following along at home to the 9PBS station. Are you ready, friends? Okay, let's go ahead and do it here together. Mirrors on. We know that letters have sounds. Letters come together to make a word. Letters are consonants or vowels, and vowels are short or long. Long vowels can be heard in many ways. Magic E makes the vowel say its long, long sound. Open syllables are when a long vowel is not followed by a consonant in a syllable. Y twins are when Y says I in a one syllable word. Or when Y says E in a two syllable word. Vowel teams are two or more letters that come together to make a long vowel sound. A I, A Y, A, E A, E E, E, I E, I G H, I. O A O W O U E E W O O O makes two different sounds. O like in the word spoon. O like in the word book. Vowel diphthongs glide in your mouth in one syllable. O I, O Y, Oi, 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 O U, O W, Ow, Ow, A U, A W, Aw, oh, Aw, oh, Yeah. Consonant blends are letters that glide together, but you hear all sounds. Mirrors off. Wow, that was incredible, friends. Thank you so much for following along with me. I can tell that you are really stretching your brains. Your brains are growing to be so big because we've learned so much here in our time together. We also learned when you need to double the final consonant, and we put it to a song. When the letters L, F, S, or Z 
are following a short vowel in a word. And the word part is only one syllable. Then you have to double final consonant. Very good. Then we really have been focusing on how we divide up syllables and using our knowledge, what we know of the different ways to divide up syllables in order for us to learn and read new words. We know that syllables are built around a talking vowel. We practice so many different syllable patterns. We also learned a song to the tune of Row Row Your Boat. Syllables are sounds we hear in each and every word. Clap the sounds in basket and tell me what you heard. Basket. Syllables are sounds we hear in each and every word. Clap the sounds in cabin and tell me what you heard. Cab in. Syllables are sounds we hear in each and every word. Clap the sounds in basic and tell me what you heard. Stay sick. Syllables are sounds we hear in each and every word. Clap the sounds in complex and tell me what you heard. Complex. Syllables are sounds we hear in each and every word. Clap the sounds in construct and tell me what you heard. Construct. Syllables are sounds we hear in each and every word. Clap the sounds in candle and tell me what you heard. Candle. Last one, friends. Syllables are sounds we hear in each and every word. Clap the sounds in lion and tell me what you heard. Lion. Amazing, friends. You are doing such a wonderful job. And I can tell that you're really learning so many different ways that we can really be reading scientists and dissect words by looking at all of the letters, the sounds that they make, and dividing them up into our syllables and all of those different long and short vowel sounds. You know that we have worked with this chart here before, our long vowels. We are going to focus today, our learning goal or objective is, I can decode or read or figure out words using spelling patterns. So we are going to be reviewing some of the different spelling patterns we've learned together here so far. And we're going to really practice being reading scientists and dissecting these different words. So you can see here on our long vowels, we did our mirrors on to practice some of those sounds. A, I, paint, A, Y, ray, E, A, leaf, E, E, sheep. We have our Y twin, E, like in the word baby. We have our magic E in all of these different long vowel sounds. We also have open syllables in each of these different vowel sounds as well. You have I, G, H, night, I, E, like in the word die, there's our Y twin. In a one syllable word, fly, says I. Then we learn O, A, coat. O, W, snow. And U, E, glue. E, W, brew. And then there's those two O, O sounds. Do and O. And then let's flip it here. <clears throat> And this is when we review learning about diphthongs. Again, that is when it glides in your mouth. It makes a vowel sound and it's in one syllable. The different ones that we learned were O-O-I, like in words, foil, 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 coil. And O-Y, like in the words, toy, boy, joy. These ones over on this side here come in the beginning and the middle typically. And these over here are found either in the middle or the end of the words. These are our ow, o, u, o, w, ow, 
oh, you in the beginning or middle, like in the words, out, our, shout, and pout. And then in the middle or at the end, like in the words, cow, bow, now, how. The last ones we learned were all, a, u, all, in the beginning or the middle, like in the words, author, the person who writes the book, pause and sauce. And over here, ah, like in the words, paw, like a little puppy paw, <laughs> jaw or claw. All right, now we are really going to practice using some of these syllable division patterns that we've learned and our knowledge in our brains of diphthongs and our long vowel sounds truly really break apart all of these different words. So I am going to go ahead and share my screen. All right, so you can see here we have syllable division with vowel teams. So I'm gonna bring my vowel teams chart back down here so we can have it here ready to go if we need it. And you can see at the top here, all of these different examples of the way we chop up those different syllables. You can see lots of different examples of our vowel teams here. So now we are going to practice by put a box around the vowel teams, divide the word into its syllable parts, then we will read the word. You always, when you're dividing up syllables, keep your vowel teams together. So let's look at this first word here. The word is complain. K, k, uh, uh. I see a vowel there. We're gonna put our vowels in pink, just like our chart. K, uh. Mmm, that's definitely a consonant. Oh, oh, consonant, consonant, A, A. Mm, mm. All right, the word is complain. Can you say that with me? Complain. Very good. Complain just means you might be griping or groaning about something that you maybe don't want to do. Now let's put our sounds up. K, uh, Oh, A, mm. blend it, complain, test it. This is where we test those syllables. You're gonna gently touch the bottom of your chin. Complain, so you can see here, our syllable was divided right there. K, uh, uh. That O makes that lazy, lazy schwa sound because it is the not accented syllable. So I'm gonna label it with that. Schwa, upside down, E. K, uh, mm. P, O, A. We have that long vowel sound. So I'm going to put that dash above it, a symbol for that long vowel sound. Complain, complain. Very good. Let's look at our next word here. The word is suitcase. Can you say that? Suitcase. Very good, like I'm going to take a suitcase with me on vacation. Let's look at our sounds. S, ooh, ooh. I see a vowel team. U, I, like in the word juice or fruit. So I'm going to color it pink. Okay, it says the ooh, the long U sound. So I'm gonna give it a um, long vowel dash there. So t, t, there's a consonant. Then you have another consonant, k, a, a. I see a vowel and it is a long vowel sound. And then you have s, s, and then you do not hear that e on the end. All right, so let's look at this word here. You see, Ooh, long vowel, t, t. Then you break your syllable. Also because suitcase is an example of a compound word. Two words 
that come together to make a new word, but they're both words all on their own. Suit is a word, case is a word, comes together to make the compound word suitcase. So we break it right there in the middle, and then you have that long vowel A, S, and magic E on the end. We do not hear, so I'm just gonna put a swipe right through it there. All right, ready, friends? Sounds up. Suit. K A S. Six sounds, blend it. Suitcase. Test it. Suitcase. Very good. Now let's look at the next word here. Anybody know what this word is? Can you shout it out for me nice and loud? Yes, I heard many friends say crayon, crayon. Like my favorite crayon color is green. All right, let's go ahead and look at our sounds here together. I can see k -er. okay, so we've got some consonants here. Er, a, I see a vowel team. A, Y, A, crayon, ah, uh, ah, uh, short O, and then we have that syllable, or that's a uh, consonant N on the end. All right, ready, friends? Sounds up. K, er, A, ah, uh, N. Mm. Five sounds, blend it, crayon, test it, crayon. All right, so you can see the A, Y makes that long A sound. You keep those two together and you're gonna break the syllable right after our vowel team because vowel teams, they stay together. Think of them like they're stuck together like glue. All right, so we, we broke our part, our sounds, we blended it, crayon, test it, crayon. And we've got that short vowel here as well. All right, let's look at some other examples here. Let's look at this word here. Anybody know what this word is? Yes, I heard a friend say it, display. Can you say that with me? Display, beautiful. Like I might put your beautiful artwork on display. Like I might put it up for everyone to see. All right, let's look at the sounds. D, it, it. I, she, I see a short vowel sound. It, it is our short vowel, I. Dis, okay, consonant, p, p, consonant, o, consonant, a, 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 y, I see another example of our vowel team, a, y, a, okay, so a, y makes that long vowel sound. And you have vowel, consonant, 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 vowel. So you are going to chop it right after that uh, consonant right here. It kind of protects that short it, that short vowel. All right, ready friends, sounds up. D, I, S, P, O, A, blend it, display, test it, display. Very good. You are doing such a good job with this, friends. All right, look at our next word here. Anybody know what this word is? You are amazing readers, reading scientists. The word is beneath. Say that with me, beneath. Very good. Like I had needed to look beneath to find the sock I was looking for. I looked beneath my uh, dresser. All right, b, b, e, e, I see a vowel. And tell me friends, that e, is that a short or a long vowel sound? <gasps> yes, you are absolutely right. E is a long vowel sound. B, m, mm, consonant. E, A, E. So I see a vowel team there, friends. E, A, and it says E, E, that long E sound. Now, what sound does T, H make? Can I hear you make it nice and loud? Well, as loud as you can, it's not a very loud sound. Yes, very good. 
okay? TH makes two sounds. It either makes the sounds where you kind of stick out your tongue and you hear a little bit of air get out, or it makes the mm sound, the voiced version of that TH where you can feel it moving on your voice box. Mm, tickles my teeth when I make that sound. Okay, so those are consonants. They come together. They are a digraph that makes one sound. All right, ready, friends? Sounds up. Ba, e, n, e, f. Blend it, bunny. Test it, bini. All right, so you can see here we divided the syllable after that long vowel. So it is the same as this one here vowel, consonant, vowel. And it has that long vowel, so you chop it right there. All right. Let's go ahead and look at this last word right here. Anybody know what this word is? Very good readers. It is the word shallow. Say that with me, shallow. Very good. Like uh, we wanna stay in the shallow end of the pool, means not very deep. Okay, so we start here with another digraph, S-H. What sound does that make? S-H, those are two consonants. They come together to make one sound. S-H says, good, shh. Can you make that with me? Shh. Very good. So we've got those consonants there, S-H. Go ahead and color those in. S-H makes that consonant. Shh, ah, ah. I hear a vowel sound. Our A says the short vowel sound. Ah. Ah, so it gets that little macaroni noodle. Sha, oh, oh. I see two consonants there. L, L. And then O, 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 W. There's a vowel team, and it makes that long vowel sound. So I'm going to mark it with our long vowel dash. Okay. And I see that we've got double letters. And I remember when you have double letters, you're going to chop the syllable right between the double letters. Okay, sounds up. Shh, ah, oh, oh. Do you notice there's only four sounds, even though there's many more letters. Shh, comes together to make one sound. Ah, there's your short vowel. Oh, and then O, W, O. Blend it, shallow. Test it, shall. Low. Very good, friends. All right. Now we are going to actually practice this next one here. This is our diphthongs. Remember, diphthongs, they make a vowel sound. They come together to make those two sounds. They kind of glide together in your mouth in one syllable, like oi, aw, and Oh, all right, so you can see this first word here. Anybody know what this word is? Shout it out for me, nice and loud. Good, compound, like in the word compound words, where two words come together to make a new word. All right, let's look at our word here. We've got a syllable, ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right, there's our vowel. Is a uh, a short O or a long O? Yes, very good. It is a short O, so it gets a macaroni noodle. Ah, uh, mmm, mmm. Okay, so we've got some consonants there. Ow, ow. There is your vowel diphthongs there. Okay, they count as our syllable, but they don't really make a long or a short sound. Uh, mm, p, ow, mm, d. So you've got two consonants there on the end. All right. So sounds up. K, ow, oh, mm, p, ow, mm, d. K, uh, mm, p, ow, mm, d. Blend it. Compound. Test it. Compound. All right. Now let's do this next word here. What is it? What is it? Nice and loud. Yes, good job. This is the word outside. Say that with me, outside. Very good. All right, so you've got your vowel diphthongs here. O-U says ow, 
ow, t, t, consonant, s, s, consonant, I, I. Okay, and here, there, we've got our long vowel, long I sound, d, consonant, and then magic E on the end that we do not hear. So I'm gonna cross a line through it, just like that. All right, and this is another example of a compound word. Out is a word, side is a word, put them together, outside. We always divide our syllables right between those two compound words. So you have sounds up, out, I, d, lend it, outside, test it, outside. Very good. Now let's look at this next word here. Perfect for what we're talking about. What is this word? Very good. This is the word vowel. Say it. Vowel. All right. V. Consonant. Ow. Ow. There's our vowel diphthong. Vowel. O. Okay, we see a vowel or a vowel there, and then you have your consonant. Oh, vowel, vowel. Okay, you're gonna chop your syllable right there after the O W. Sounds up. Vowel. Test or blend it. <laughs> vowel. Test it. Vowel. You're going to divide it right after that O W. All right, let's look at this last word here together, friends. Flower, say it with me, flower. Consonant, oh, consonant, ow. There's our vowel diphthongs. And then, er, er, that is a bossy R example there, er. All right, okay, so you have, Oh, ow, er, er comes together to say er. So you have four sounds. Oh, ow, er, blend it, flower, test it, flow, er. So you divide it right after that diphthong there. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen really quick, friends. All right, you did such an incredible job. We really were reading scientists today and we were dissecting all of these different words. We looked at all of the vowel sounds, whether they were vowel teams or vowel diphthongs. We also looked at our short and long vowel sounds. We also practiced the different ways that you can chop, divide up those syllables. And really working with these words helps us to better understand how letters come together to make a word and it really makes us better readers. Thank you so much, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.